Hello, it's Carol here. Well, it's uh, just over a year since Richard died. His funeral is coming up very soon, the, the anniversary of his funeral. And I was trying to think what sort of things have helped me over this year particularly. And I think, of course, it's been friends. People who've said, don't worry, Carol, I'm thinking of you. And my phone's always by my bed. If ever you want to ring at any time, just ring. And you think probably you won't, but it's just wonderful to know that if you wanted to, you could ring. And it makes a heck of a difference to know that. It really, really does. And sometimes people say rather awkward things and they don't mean to hurt you. It's uh, They may just have failed in getting exactly the right tone. But as long as they've said something, whether it's a note or whether it's a, in words or whatever it is, a phone call, it makes one heck of a difference. It really does. I feel with Richard dying, my husband, that I'm no longer anybody's number one. And uh, at first I found that very difficult, that no one's really affected by how I feel or what I do. But the group of people who themselves are thinking of you is very, very, very helpful. And it has helped me an awful lot. And I do think that from time to time, I allow myself to have treats. I think, what is it that will really make me get through a particular time? I think, well, I look forward to maybe just watching a favorite program or making a phone call to somebody you think you would like to talk to just at that moment. Or with me, it's always having a favorite chocolate or biscuit or a particular what I call naughty thing to eat which I perhaps don't usually have something like that has made a huge huge difference to me and I think if people let you talk about your loved one I talk about Richard a lot to talk to him when no one's there and I talk about him to others and it's wonderful when you find people that give you a memory that you'd forgotten about him these things I think make such a big big difference and it always comes back to friendship I know they can't replace your loved ones or your loved one, but they do make a difference. And I came across that um, poem that was read by Mary Lee Hall at Princess Diana's funeral, and it's called Turn Again to Life. And I wonder whether I am ready to begin turning again to life. And I'll just read it to you, not very well, but I just want you to hear the words. If I should die and leave you here a while, be not like others sore undone, who keep long vigil by the silent dust and weep, for my sake, turn again to life and smile, nerving thy heart and trembling hand to do something to comfort other hearts than thine. Complete these dear unfinished tasks of mine, and I perchance may therein comfort you. And I think that's what has helped me. I've said talking to you, I've always hoped might be a little thing I say that would be helpful to others who are going through the grieving journey but I've been so, so comforted by the things that you've told me too. So I think maybe I am just getting to the stage where I can turn again to life. And uh, if I can, I know that my Richard, whatever, would be pleased. And I know it's what I should do. So I just say to you, that's what I'm thinking. And it's hope, it's always hope. And I think hope is returning that I can do this. Thank you for listening. Thank you as always for watching. I'll be back.